For 10 years, photographer Justin Cook has been documenting stories of loss in Durham, North Carolina. The idea was to photograph the effects of homicide, incarceration, and urban renewal in Durham. And I didn't know that's what I was doing when I started as a student 10 years ago, um, but that's kind of what the project morphed into. The grand finale was pasting really large pictures from the project on this wall here, and then trying to transform this place into a gathering place so people from the community, um, their voice could be heard in public. One person featured in the project is Jocelyn Sims. Jocelyn's 30-year-old son Rayburn was shot to death at an intersection in Durham. His killer was never found. So many things remind me of Ray. I used to stop people in the streets. And I see somebody walking from the back that looked like Ray. I would literally yell out, Ray! And they turn and look at me, and I'm like, that's not him. Like, my, my baby's dead, and I remember he's dead. See, all my son's white car is that right there? Mm -hmm. He got killed right in front of that where the car is at. Okay. That's where they shot him at, right there, that okay. stop sign. But when he died, it's just like part of me died, and, and that part have never have, that part have never came back to life yet, you know? And I don't think it ever will, because I miss him so much. And I just, you know, at times, even now, I pray to God, I say, I wish you could go back in the time and take my life and bring my baby back. And it, I, still times I wish I could open the grave and just see his face one more time, just to touch him one more time. She, she's like, she's the strongest person I know. Um, she's like the wisest person I've ever met in my entire life. Um, and she's kind of become everything to me through the course of working with her. Justin Cook and Jocelyn Sims have become his closest family in the 10 years since Ray died, and Justin took that photo of her on the corner. I call him my brother from another mother. <laughs> he documents her life now, the community she's found with grieving mothers, the happy times, the difficult moments. He's there, even for the birth of Rayburn's grandson, Bryson. I like, how, I like this part. The, like, there's a really visual scene here as the Cassie goes on the ground. Yeah. Silence is the only sound. But recently, the collaboration's gone beyond friendship and photography. Jocelyn's begun writing, and Justin's her editor. Before Ray was murdered, I didn't believe in the death penalty. Since then, I dreamed of killing you myself. But your mother shouldn't suffer for your crime like I have. You hurt too many people to have her name added to that list. I know deep in my heart I'll never forgive them. Even if I find out who, who, who did it, I won't forgive them because he took something me that I never get back. It just hurts when people sit and tell me, you need to, you don't tell me what I need to do, especially if you have not been in my shoes. And a lot of people who tell us that have never lost a child or anyone murdered. She's incredibly raw and incredibly honest in ways that I haven't seen before. Um, there's something really special there. Um, yeah, she's something else. People will say, well, you got other kids. Yeah, I have three other kids, but my heart is still empty. Because I have four sons, I always felt I had four parts in my heart, one for each one of them, and now I only got three parts, and the other part can never be healed. I'm tired of seeing the anger in my children and grandchildren after race murder. I'm scared of what it might make them do. I'm tired of it all, tired of my pain, tired of our pain and the pain to come. It will come again. More would be murdered, more would be shot, and more mothers and children would cry. More would feel the silence. <laughs>